And remember, I might be saying this, but it's not in all homes. I'm only talking about the homes where this applies. Sadly, it's a very big number. A large number of homes. We force our children to marry whom we want. It is happening in society and community. Recently, I was in the UK. And I tell you, so many people are struggling. Young girls who are of marriage age, where the father says, I'm taking you back to this country or that country, and your nikah is going to be in one week, two weeks. To who? You don't worry, it's sorted out. Wallahi, it's happening in the first world countries among the Muslims. Why? It is haram, haram, haram to do this. It's a reality. It's a sad reality. If it's not happening in your midst, thank Allah. Then, in marriage, we become racist. The child wants to marry someone who comes from across the river back in the subcontinent and the answer is no way. You're crazy. Wallahi, even if they want to marry the darkest person in complexion, if the man has deen and akhlaq, let it happen because it is your duty unto Allah for that to happen. You have to fulfill your role unto Allah. You don't follow your whims and fancies. The sad reality is we do what we want. You know, culture is something very good only if it conforms to Islam. The minute it doesn't, throw it out of the window. You will struggle, you will suffer. Sometimes we want to hold the whole family together. Every function, everyone must be together in one place. I have 12 sons, all 12 are there. With, their, with my daughters-in-law, for example, and my children, grandchildren. Everyone is there, every Eid. You don't have to be there every Eid. Sometimes the son wants to take his wife and go to her place. What's wrong? But you are the boss, you are the Fir'aun, that's what you are. May Allah safeguard us. It's a sad reality. Don't say we're breaking homes. No, unity is not in being together physically, but rather it is in tolerating one another, respecting one another. That's what we're taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Have you ever known of an Eid where he told all his children, his daughters, listen, you're coming my place. Otherwise, it's over. But that's what we're hearing in the ummah. Divorces are happening for this reason. Where is, the, where is the tongue today? When the Prophet ﷺ warned us about the tongue, Amlik, Lisanak, so many times control your tongue. Today, the sad reality, we lie, we cheat, we swear, we steal, we divorce. Just like that. What happened to the tongue? This is a sad reality. Let's go back to the path. We are suffering as an ummah because of your tongue. Yes. You don't know how to, how to talk to your folks, to those whom you live with. You have no idea. Why make other people's lives difficult? That's the sad reality. We enjoy it. In the house, we enjoy making life difficult for our relatives. They related to you. Live and let live. Make dua for them. Everyone makes mistakes. Why make life difficult in the house? It's a sad reality. We have problem upon problem. Where are the marriages that were built? And where is the sacrifice that we used to have for marriage? Wallahi, today I am called more for divorce arbitrations than for officiation of nikah. Whereas a few years ago, it was the other way around. There were more nikah than talaq. Today I am telling you there is more talaq than nikah. If people get married a year later, you can say, are they still together? MashaAllah. That's what's happening. May Allah forgive us. It's the sad reality. I'm not joking with you. I'm being honest. Where are the simple weddings? Where are they? They are gone. Because we want to show the whole world. Show Allah that you do it the right way. That's what it is. Simple wedding. No matter how wealthy you are, keep it simple. Because people will follow the trend. Wallahi, I know of many families who take haram bank loans in order to give their daughter a marriage they cannot afford. And the marriage is broken before the loan is repaid. Trust me, may Allah forgive us. Don't do that, not at all. Where is the sunnah? Where is Islam? Where are we who call ourselves the Muslims? Is this not the sad reality? It is wallahi. 